Right, okay then everyone, uh, time for issue number 73 of Stormbringer. <clears throat> and what we have here is a lovely uh, piece of artwork on Nagash with what looks like a vampire in front of him. Of course Nagash is Supreme Lord of the Undead, God of Death and probably a huge number of other titles uh, including the... Um, uh, being a monarch of Nekakara, um, a king, the the old king of Kemri, the high priest <laughs> of the uh, the cult of death in the old world, he's done it all. And what we also have on this one is ten hard boys. Well, no, we don't have ten hard boys. We have ten hard boys. Who are beefy, beefy orcs with heavy armour and shields? Which is what I absolutely love. Uh, what have we got in here then? So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a terrible throat today. A uh, bit more about the realm of fire. Moving through. Uh, retreading the lore on Hammerfall of Hammer, Hammerhal uh, Tempest Eye and uh, Hollow Heart. Then, we, we, again, we don't have a lot of lore on this one. Uh, just a single page before we move straight into the stuff about the Ard Boys. Who well, are the biggest, uh, you know, pretty big mean orcs, foot, foot orcs anyway, line orcs. Let's have a look what else we've got in here. Uh, how to build. Now, I have actually built some of these already, as in I've already done a set of these. I'll show you them in a second to show you uh, what I've done with them. Uh, but there's a lot of customization. So although there's like, uh, there's first of all, there's 10 different body plans, which is good. Um, and then weapon and shield, you can kind of mix and match along with the head. So there's quite a lot of customization within this. So it's, it, it, they're good models and I know that for a fact. Um, painting, you know, there's the how to paint. I just don't like yellow on all. I don't know why. Um, why would Games Workshop make yellow? I just don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. It's not a colour that I'm a big fan of personally. No, so I don't think it looks right against the green personally. Um, of course, you're free to disagree with that. It's just not something that I like. Okay, um, but so I don't know. I just it doesn't it doesn't intrigue me anyway. It doesn't make me. It's not something that I like. Um, we got our war scroll as well for our, our our boys, and then we're really drilling into this sort of last stand campaign, which is let's have a look here. Um, oh, it's an ambush ba battle, so order in the middle, destruction on the outside. Just having a good chip through this, just making sure I grasp what's going on. I, I, I think we're getting to that point now where I'm, I'm finding that I um, there's less law of a lot more painting going on some of these magazines you can see there's not a lot going on in here which uh, is a bit unfortunate but i suppose we are coming towards the end and they're having to do a lot more time on how to paint things because of course you've got a lot more paints to use and more stages to go through um however i kind of know how to paint anyway i'm probably as good as i am i'm ever going to get uh, for the most part, maybe I'll get a bit better over time, but I think uh, I've reached my peak as far as skill levels concerned. Anyway, so the issue number seventy-three also has a kind of little extra pull-out of core tactics. So just basically talking about the different types you've got, um, uh, like. So it says it's core tactics. I'm just trying to read through here. Uh, 
yeah, so, I mean, yeah, cut, yeah, just basically some some key information about how to think about the battle more than anything else. There's also a few. Also, this bit about enchantments and kind of how certain characters uh, bring special rules in to help you tip the battle in your favour. Now, let's get on to the actual art boys themselves. So, it's a big kit, this one. You can get 10 in total. You've got quite a lot of weapon options, spears, hand weapons. Um, there is a standard um, that goes on the back of one of the miniatures. Excuse me, it's too early in the morning. Um, there's a um, hero for the unit as well. Lots of head options. You can mix and match the shields if you want to as well. So this is what I've done okay, with these art boys. Um, because although I like the Cruel Boys as a faction in Age of Sigmar, um, the Gloom Spike Gits and the art boys, the actual Iron Jaws, well, I'm probably not ever going to play them in Age of Sigmar. So... I've ranked them up and put them on square bases for the old world. Uh, I think they would class as Black Orcs for the purpose of battling. And the reason it's not moving around and falling all over the place is because I've magnetized, you know, everything's magnetized. <laughs> uh, just to give you an idea though, so aside from being able to go on the circular bases for Age of Sigmar, if you're actually looking at starting an old world army of orcs and goblins, there you go. You know, we've got this available to us. I just love these guys too much. There's, um, I'm going to use them as black orcs. Um, no one I play with is going to argue that they're not the right miniatures. And I'm not a competitive player anyway. So I'm going to admit, i got 30 of these guys in total. I've got the 10 I've just got plus the 20 I've already got hold of. Which means that these are all getting nicely. Ranked up in two units of 15 to really, you know, r really hit it, basically. I'm going to have a, a very tough force. <laughs> Can't help myself. I, I, I just, I, I, I've, I've wanted to restart my old world army, armies for a long time. So I had to do it. Um, I've also done it for my gloom spike gits. All of my glue spike gets are on square bases. Because uh, I'm just probably not going to play them in Age of Sigma. I'm going to play the Cruel Boys in Age of Sigma. But I'm just not going to play the um, the Gloom Spike and the Iron Jaws in Age of Sigma. So they might as well be put to some good use. Right, that's it then. So that is our issue number uh, 73. With some absolutely cool miniatures. Which I'm really happy about. Um... And, you know, OK Magazine is a bit light on the lore, but a lot of more time is going into things like the um, uh, painting, plus the, the Iron Jaws do have quite a big build tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.